Hi, my name is Brandon Douglas from the Park Hill Department of Technology. Today we're going to be reviewing the 600 and 800 series smart boards that you have in the district. So the basic functionality of the board starts with the pin tray. You have your power buttons, you have your quick calibration button, and then you have your advanced troubleshooting menu button. One thing to start looking at is the indicator light on the pin tray. The indicator light, when it's solid green like that, means that it has a good connection and is communicating between the device and the board. If you notice that this green light is flashing, it doesn't mean that there's necessarily something wrong, it just means that the board is in a ready state and is awaiting input from the computer or from the device. If this, dev or if this light is red, that typically indicates a connection failure, whether that's a wireless connection issue or a hardwired issue that will turn red. It can also turn red even when it's connected if we're having software related issues which we will cover later in this video. Another thing to be aware of is that the pin tray actually holds the firmware flashing. So if you had a bad pin tray it could actually kill total functionality of the board including the cameras, the touch features, everything. The pin tray is swappable and it does not require much effort you simply unplug the power lead, the USB, and there is a third connector on the back that needs to be removed. You pull two tabs and it simply slides off. We uh, do have some Bluetooth enabled uh, wireless connection boards in the district and those can be more finicky to deal with we try to go ahead and maintain that the USB cable is plugged in. That's the best way. Hardwired is always going to give you the best option. One of the most common things you'll run into with the 600 and 800 series boards is miscalibration. And for us to access the calibration feature, we can hit the calibration button on the pin tray, pulling up this window here, and we follow the prompts, pressing and releasing in the center of the target. Now, the Standard or basic setup is set for quick calibration. We have more features and options to choose from by going into the advanced diagnostics here and we can click on the touch recognition settings, pull this drop box down here and go to the orientation and alignment settings. So the default is set to quick. We have standard 9 point, wide 12 point, find 20 point. Just for demonstration purposes we'll pick 12. Click apply, click OK. You can either launch the calibration from this window here or you can simply re-hit the calibration button. Go ahead and do this. The advantage of a more point calibration is a finer calibration. The disadvantage is more time. On the 800 series smart boards, it uses a camera technology to trace your inputs of where you're touching on the board. And those cameras are located in each of the four corners. Now, it's worth noting that they are extremely sensitive. They cannot be cleaned with alcohol or water, and they can only be dusted. While talking about cleaning of the smart board, this track along the top and the bottom with the reflective surface can cause input lag and issues. That can be cleaned. The whole board itself can be cleaned by spraying a alcohol and water-based solution onto a rag and then wiping down both the board and these reflective surfaces. There are also reflective surfaces behind these side bezels, inside of these side bezels here, that need to be cleaned as well. And again, always spray onto the rag, not onto the board. Now we're going to take a second to show you the difference between the 800 series smart boards and the 600 series smart boards. So here we have the 600 series smart board. It does not have the cameras you'll notice and it does not have the reflective bezel around the edges. This one actually uses touch input and voltage references to map your inputs onto the board. The pin tray is actually a little bit different. It does not have the connections in the back like the 800 series does. There's actually only one cable that needs to be unplugged, but it does remove in the same fashion that the 800 series does. In order to access the, to quickly access the calibration menu, you can depress these two buttons at the same time and release, and that will put you into calibration mode. And to get into the advanced calibration window, you can click on this small little question mark directly underneath the eraser. 
just like the 800 series on the side here, this is going to be where you're going to find your serial number for your board. This here is where your AB USB cable connects to into this serial controller on the back side right here. The reason I'd like to point this out is for the few boards that are still using the Bluetooth wireless connectivity, the wireless receiver will attach to the top of this serial controller. So if you do find yourself using one of those boards, this is where you're going to go and look at to make sure that it is syncing correctly with the PC. This here is also the indicator light and it functions in the same way that the 800 series board is, just to point out that it's on the side of the board, not on the pin tray. Now aside from cleaning the board and inspecting it for physical damage, most of the diagnostics you're going to do is through the software side, which we're going to take a second and show that to you right now. 